all right uh, now let's go to the site again and here go to one of the product uh, that is atx jeans so uh, here uh, this color and size is now hard coded that is coming uh, you know the static values it is showing now but uh, we have the uh, value for this color right for now we have the value for the color in the database okay so what we'll do is we will just go to the code okay product detail dot html here and so here let's uh, keep this one like that okay let's not touch touch this one and uh, this is the select tag and uh, we don't want to touch this as well so only thing we need is this option okay so currently we have uh, three options here those are static let's uh, remove these uh, remaining two and keep only one so here let's say uh, for i in uh, we have the, we have the access to this single product single product dot variation underscore set dot all okay so this set uh, you know this underscore set dot all uh, means uh, this will bring all the data from the uh, you know this variation model okay so for now let's end for just for the testing purpose okay so let's uh, save this okay before we save that we need to change the value from here right so this should be i dot i dot what the value right variation value here and copy here also all right and now now what we'll do is okay uh, go to here in this page refresh now you can see um it is still bringing red blue green i think it was before also uh, we had given the same static values let's first go to here and uh, let's change uh, one of the uh, instead of this red let's make white save so, so that we can notice it properly if it is yes it is working right white blue green now this this one this these colors are actually the dynamic one okay but uh this will be you know this will be difficult to handle if we keep this like that okay so what we'll do is we will go to here again and we will make one option above this for loop okay above this for loop and let's say option uh, let's keep this value you know blank and uh, this is now disabled and uh, selected okay so that by default this option will be selected okay when we uh, when we refresh the page so uh, and this select box now will be required okay this should be required now so without selecting the color you can go further you cannot go further right so uh, for now what we'll do is we will just uh, comment this one okay comment this out from here I remove this okay so that uh, we can notice everything from here properly okay so uh, we did not uh, set the label there all right option disabled selected and here choose color now refresh okay so so now if you click on this add to cart so it is showing the you know the error message please select an item in the list so this is actually the bootstrap validation okay so now at this point if you click on this white okay and click on this one okay we got the multi uh, value dict error it is because we are also taking the uh, taking the uh, size from here all right so let's first comment this out because we are not taking the size from here right we just commented it out now so just let's print the color only for now and go back refresh let's take the blue color add to cart yes we got the blue now and uh, the same way we will get the size also okay so uh, that's it for now but in the next one we will improve this functionality and uh, we will get to the point where uh, we can add 
these you know these variations in the uh, art item okay thank you